If you're going to be passing your workbook off to somebody else or publishing it to the web, if you've got any personal or hidden information that you want removed before handing it over, you may want to consider using the document inspector. It'll find all that stuff, or I'll show you the things that it looks for, that you can go ahead and remove all of it in a single click. If there's any one thing that you want to keep, don't use the document inspector because it removes everything. It's like a nuke. So, for example, things like comments, like when I hover over that cell, Marge wants to raise this one, Lizzie wants to relocate to Hawaii, I can go ahead and remove all of those after I use the document inspector to find those comments and remove them in a single click. Also, it'll find hidden columns or rows, like the column F is hidden, so it goes from E to G. So when I click and drag from E to G and then right click, as we learned in an earlier training video, to unhide it, because you have to select the columns or rows before and after what's hidden. Then you can go ahead and unhide it, and then it pushes it over to make room for the hidden column, which is F. But what it does is that when you inspect it for hidden columns and you have them removed, it actually removes the column. So this doesn't get pushed over, it stays here. And then it re-alphabetizes it or renumbers it. So after it removes column F, then what used to be column G, when it was hidden, is now F, and then it goes H, I, J, K, and so on. Well, I'll show you that in just a minute. Let's go ahead and undo that so we can have it hidden again. And then when I right click on any worksheet tab and I go to unhide, notice that I have a bonus sheet that's being hidden. It deletes it, so it will remove those. Let's go ahead and click cancel. In any case, to go ahead and take a look at the document inspector and see what it finds and what we want removed, come up here, click on the file tab, go backstage, info selected by default, and then down below where it says inspect workbook, it says before publishing this file or giving it to somebody else, be aware that it contains comments, document properties, as you can see over here. Click on Show All Properties. It's got my hyperlink base, my company name. Anything here that I don't want, I can go ahead and remove in a single click. And then you got hidden columns. I showed you that. Hidden worksheets, invisible objects, and content that people with disabilities find difficult to read. So let's go ahead and check for these issues by coming over here, clicking on it, and going down to inspect the document. And then it says, okay, before I can go ahead and check, you have to save it. So say yes, let's go ahead and save it now. And then it gives you a list of everything that it's going to check throughout the entire workbook, including comments and annotations, and, well, you can scroll down and see them all. And then if you don't want to inspect for, like, hidden worksheets, go ahead and uncheck it, but I do want to find hidden worksheets and have them removed. And know that when you inspect it, it looks for it. It doesn't remove them but just inspects it to see if it can find any. So when I click on Inspect, it found it has comments and annotations. Then it gives you the option after you inspect it to go ahead and remove all. doesn't allow you to remove one comment, but all the comments. It's a nuke, dude. Remove all. Remove all. Document properties are gone. They're toast. And then we got hidden rows and columns. Let me click and drag this down. That's the hidden column, right? So when I remove it, it doesn't open it up and push it over to allow F to be seen, but it actually deletes it and then re-alphabetizes it. So remove it. Let me click and drag that down. It opened up and re-alphabetized it, but didn't push the bonus table over. In any case, then hidden worksheet, remove it, it's gone. Close out. Because when I right-click on the sheet tab, any one of the sheet tabs, I no longer get the unhide option because it's been deleted. And of course the column has been deleted and reordered here, alphabetically that is, and the comments are gone, and then backstage file to info to properties, hyperlink base and the company name's gone, and anything else in the properties section, including the advanced properties. And then finally, after you inspect it, you may want to come back over here and read it, and it says the content that people with disabilities find difficult to read is still an issue. And the one that concerns me is that a setting that automatically removes properties and personal information when the file is saved is turned on when you save the file. Ooh, we talked about that in an earlier training video, so when you hand this off to somebody else, this is turned on, and so when you come over here and try to type in some property information or other personal information, when you click Save, automatically deletes it. If you don't want that to happen, especially when the next person is going to be entering in properties and they click Save, all that work gets destroyed. They have to re-enter it again, and then when they click Save again, it gets destroyed until they look at my training video, or of course you tell them, that they have to go backstage here, down to Options, to the Trust Center, over to the Trust Center Settings, to Privacy Options, and there it is. It got turned on. Remove personal information from properties on Save. I don't like that. So be sure to uncheck that. Click Okie Dokie, click Okie Dokie. 
And then when you go backstage and enter in your properties, like the company name, comments, things like that, and you click save, it doesn't get destroyed. It actually stays in the properties. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.